Once I have all of my colors assigned at the bottom, then we're ready to start digitizing. First thing I will do is to click to select my image, right mouse click, and lock it down. This is to keep from dragging your image around as you're digitizing. We'll start with this flower, zoom in on it. I'm going to use digitizing tool and for this one I'm going to use a closed shape tool. I'm going to click right mouse clicks for curves, left mouse clicks for straights. I want this as a satin stitch. So I'm going to select it, change it to a satin stitch and I think I want to change my stitch angle. So with it selected, I will click on reshape or the letter H is a hotkey. Click and drag my stitch angle until I have it the way I want it. About right there. Now this is very small. So really don't need two layers of underlay on it. So I'm going to take out this edge run. And I'm just going to use a zigzag for my underlay because this is a satin stitch on the top. Once I have this done, I'm going to use my mirror merge tool rather than digitize each one of these because I really don't care whether they're all exactly the same size as this image or not. So with it selected, I'm going to go to layout, go to circle layout. I've counted these. I know that there's 14. So you can click, select 14, and then you can move this wherever you want it. I want to have a little circle in the middle that's an open space. I'll line it up, left click, and then it will finish it. If there are pieces of it that's overlapping, it will ask you if you want to merge the overlapping pieces. I do not want to merge them. I want each one of the petals to remain separate. Now, if you want to have a, some of these are a little bit different than others, then you can simply just click one, make it a little smaller, rotate it a little bit if you want, go into reshape, change the stitch angle if you want. You can select each one of these and make small changes to them if you like. I think that looks good, so I'm just going to leave it like it is. 